Welcome, this is item number 18 from the release spring 2014 test items for 7th grade TCAP math. Uh, the question says, which inequality is true? So basically it's saying in which situation is the decimal value here less than the fraction value? And, you know, there are a few ways that you could do this. The quickest way, if you have calculator access, is to do convert everything into a like group and then just look. Uh, I made a list. I went ahead and did 8 divided by 25 because it's the same. I mean, the fraction is a division relationship. So if I just mark this out and put 0 0.32, I can see that this is not true. So I can mark that one out. For this one, 0.48, 0 0.44, still not looking very good. Uh, 0 0.6, yeah, that looks right. So 0 0.6 is less than, so I'm going to say probably that one. And finally, 0.76. This is a close one because it's the same thing. If this said less than or equal to, it would be true. So if you have this whole thing going on. But it doesn't. It just has less than. So no, 0.76 is not less than 0.76. So uh, occasionally people will see those things and just dive on it because it's the same number. But that's not what the question is asking. You have to see which statement is actually telling the truth. So the answer to this one is C. Now, what else could you do? What happens if you don't have immediate calculator access, or you want to just try something else. There are a bunch of ways that you can convert them. I will start out by saying that 0.36 is 36 hundredths, which is to say it's this. What that allows you to do is, okay, if I think, well, if I could just make this one something with 100 on the bottom as the denominator, I can immediately compare them. So I'll look at this one as 36 over 100 I just have to think a little bit. Okay, well, 25, there's four quarters in a dollar, so that means 25 times 4 is equal to 100. So if I just multiply 8 times 4, I've got a nice little comparison. So 36 over 100 is less than 32 over 100? Uh, no. But if I look at this one, okay, so I have 60 over 100. Now if I do, that's 100, 25 times 4, and I'll just do 17 times 4, 68. That's definitely true. 68 over 100 is greater than 60 over 100. So my answer is still this one. You know, it's just one another way that you could go about looking at it uh, to make it sort of the way you want. You could also do a reduction of this uh, to get down to 25 to make a comparison. So I need to divide by 4, so I divide by 4 here, and it gives me... Um, 9 over 25, which is not less than 8 over 25. So, you know, however you feel like you want to do it is fine. Um, just find the method that works best for you, stick with it, and make sure that you know that if it says less than, it has to be less than, it can't be equal to. Just because the numbers match does not necessarily mean it's the same answer. And that's it.